Hello and welcome to Memvic Studio. My name is Angoli. If you've been following my channel for a while, you would have noticed that I am a big advocate for living away from the city wherever possible as a way to get a better quality of life. So in today's video, I'll be discussing some of the best towns to live in around Edinburgh with easy access to the city. All the towns I'll be discussing are within the West Lothian Council, which is a council that shares a border with Edinburgh. I'll be covering transportation, education, health, jobs, population, social life, and accommodation. If you like the contents of my channel, do subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos with anyone who you think might find it interesting. The fifth town on my list is Amadeo. Amadeo town is served by a train station which can have you in the heart of Edinburgh in just over 20 minutes. The town is also well served by buses linking to neighboring towns and Edinburgh city. The schools in Amadeo are good ranking. There is a high school which serves pupils from both Amadeo and the neighboring town Bathgate, a number of primary schools and early years center. A number of GP practices cater to the health needs of residents. And a lot of people living here are professionals working in Edinburgh. A great majority are self-employed tradespeople like electricians, plumbers, etc. With others working for the council, retail companies, food service companies and the NHS. The population is a mixture of young and old and lots of people move here to start a family as houses are relatively affordable. Amadeo has a good number of superstores, eatery places, a lively main street and lots of lovely parks. With regards to accommodation, there are more houses than flats with most people owning their own homes. If looking to rent in Amadeo, you may find it easier to rent a house than a flat with little to no difference in the price. For a two to three bedroom flat or a house, you may be looking to pay between 600 and 900 pounds. Amade has a number of higher decile or nice areas dotted around the town. For all the places I'll be mentioning in today's video, the actual cost of accommodation will depend on the decile of the area. In other words, it depends on how nice the area is. You can check out my previous video renting in Scotland and England to learn how to determine the decile of any area in Scotland. The fourth town on my list is Broxbourne. Broxbourne lies 12 miles from the west end of Edinburgh. The town is served by a nearby train station in Uphall. Broxbourne is also well served by buses linking to neighboring towns and Edinburgh city, and you can get to Edinburgh Airport within 30 minutes by bus. Broxbourne has a good thriving secondary school, a number of primary schools and early years center. A number of GP practices cater to the health needs of residents and major hospitals in Edinburgh can also be easily accessed by public transportation. Majority of people living in Broxbourne are self-employed tradespeople like electricians, plumbers, etc. Some are professionals working in Edinburgh with others working for the council as well as retail and food service companies. There is a mixture of young and older population and lots of families with young children. One of the most exciting places to visit in Broxbourne is the Almond and Calderwood Country Park. There are lots of lovely parks and outdoor spaces as well as a good number of superstores, eatery places and a lively main street. For a two to three bedroom house or flat, you're looking to pay between 600 and 900 pounds and Broxbourne has a good number of nice areas dotted all over the town. The third town on my list is Linlithgow. Linlithgow town is served by a train station linking to neighboring towns and city. A fast train from Linlithgow train station can get you to Edinburgh in about 15 minutes. The town is also served by buses linking to neighboring towns and Edinburgh city. Linlithgow Academy is perceived to be one of the best secondary schools in West Lothian Council. There are also a number of good ranking primary schools and early years center. A number of GP practices cater to the health needs of Linlithgow residents. Linlithgow is also home to St. Michael's Hospital, an assessment, palliative and respite hospital. A lot of people living here are professionals working in Edinburgh. A great majority are self-employed tradespeople with others working for the council, retail, food service and the NHS. The population is a mixture of young and old and lots of families with young children. Linlithgow has a good number of superstores, eatery places and a lively town centre. Some of the most exciting places to visit in Linlithgow include Bee Creeks Country Park, Linlithgow Canal Centre and Linlithgow Palace. The town also has lots of lovely parks and outdoor spaces for children to play in or to have a family picnic and lots of great places for walks. 
there are more houses than flats in Linlithgow and most people own their own home. For a two to three bedroom flat, you may be looking to pay between 650 to 900 pounds. The town has the highest concentration of higher decile areas in West Lydian Council with most places ranking 7 out of 10. It can however be difficult to find a place to rent in Linlithgow. The second town on my list is Bathgate. Bathgate has a busy train station which can have you in the heart of Edinburgh in 15 minutes. The town is also well served by buses linking to neighboring towns and Edinburgh city. The schools in Bathgate are good ranking. There is a high school which serves mostly pupils from the neighboring town, a number of primary schools and early years center. There are a number of GP practices to cater to the health needs of the residents and Bathgate is only about 13 minutes drive from St. John's Hospital in Livingston. A lot of people living in Bathgate are self-employed tradespeople. A great majority are professionals working in Edinburgh and others are employed within the town and neighboring towns by the council, retail and food service companies as well as the NHS. There is a mixture of young and older population and lots of families with young children and Bathgate has a good number of superstores, eatery places, a theater and a lively high street slash town center. There are lots of lovely parks and walk slash cycling paths and one of the most exciting places to visit in Bathgate is the Scottish Owl Society especially if you're a lover of nature. There are more houses than flats with most people in Bathgate owning their own homes. For a two to three bedroom flat or house, you may be looking to pay between 650 pounds to 900 pounds. Wester Inch and Inch Cross has the largest concentration of higher decile areas, but there are also lots of higher decile areas dotted around the town. And finally, the first town on my list is Livingston. Second to Edinburgh, Livingston is the largest town in the Lothian region. The town is served by Livingston North and Livingston South train stations. A train from Livingston North train station can get you to the heart of Edinburgh in about 11 minutes. The town is also served by buses linking to neighboring towns and Edinburgh city. Livingston has good ranking schools including four high schools and a number of primary schools and early years centers. There are a number of GP practices to cater to the health needs of residents. The town is also home to St. John's Hospital, a major hospital with accident and emergency service. A lot of professionals working in Edinburgh move here for easy access to the city. A great majority of residents are employed within the town by the council, factories and the NHS as well as retail and food service companies. A few people are also self-employed tradespeople like builders, electricians, gas engineers, etc. There is a mixture of young and older population and lots of families with young children. Of all the towns I've mentioned today, Livingston has the most number of residents who are originally from foreign countries. Most activities in the town is concentrated in the town center, which feature lots of superstores, eatery places, a cinema, etc. The town also has a huge mall and a popular designer outlet that is well patronized by people from neighboring towns and as from as far as Edinburgh and Glasgow. There are lots of lovely parks and outdoor spaces. One of the most exciting places to visit in Livingston is the Mill Farm, which has a collection of various farm animals and large outdoor slash indoor spaces for children to play. The farm has different special activities going on at different festive points in the year. Livingston has a good number of houses and flats for rent, though most people here own their own home. For a two to three bedroom house or flat, you may be looking to pay between 650 and 1,200 pounds. Mirstein, Kecton, Elibon and Deadridge has the largest concentration of higher desire areas but there are also other higher desire areas dotted around the town. Thank you for watching. <music>